promoting peace and democracy in Burma. That was the message from the EPP group seminar held in Brussels on the 5th of October. Democratic rule ended in Burma in 1962, and since then the country has been led by military government, one of the most oppressive and abusive regimes in the world. Abuse of human rights is a daily occurrence in Burma, or Myanmar as it is officially known. Forced labor, child labor, human trafficking and sexual violence are all too common. With no freedom of speech, protests and uprisings against the military are always violently suppressed. This led to the house arrest for the last 20 years of Aung San Suu Kyi, the leader of the National League for Democracy Party, which won 80% of the votes in the 1990 general election. These were the first and last elections in the country for almost 30 years. Until now, that is, as the 7th of November 2010 will see a general election take place. I asked EPP group member Maria de Graça Cavallo and president of Timor-Leste, José Ramo Arta, about the way forward now for Burma. It's very important that the government enters in a dialogue with the opposition part, that re they release all the prisoners and they release, uh, they release uh, uh, San Suu Kyi, uh, and that furthermore they involve her and, and enter into a the political dialogue with uh, San Suu Kyi and all the political parties. Uh, we think that uh, to have democracy uh, you need to have all uh, an inclusive process and to have all involved. I have met with the Burmese foreign minister and I told uh, the Burmese, are you going to keep her for 27 years like South Africa did with Mandela? Then you realize it was wrong, then you release her when she's already eight years old. Why not starting now? Why wasting years and years and sacrificing everybody else? I think that got them to think. World governments remain divided on how to deal with the military junta. One approach has been to impose economic sanctions, but the speakers agreed that this was not necessarily the most effective way of bringing change. In my opinion, we should target uh, sanctions that are not affecting directly the people, but uh, affect the, the elements of the government. For example, some uh, restriction of uh, free movement uh, in European countries, some sanctions to their uh, bank accounting in the outside. Uh, so it's kind of uh, sanctions that we should think about, in my opinion. The challenge is more on how to uh, find more effective ways to induce changes in the attitude of the elite military leadership on how to assist the people on the ground. He says we should fight with intelligence, that the EU and US should push talks with the government and the 18 minority insurgent groups within Burma. It now remains to be seen what will happen in the elections on the 7th of November. Although they do not promise to be free and fair at this stage, it may be a step towards change in the long run. Thank you for watching EPP TV and join us again soon.